Hello, SES students and staff members. Welcome to SES News. I'm Grace Aybar. And I'm Joanna Aybar, and we're going to be talking about the upcoming events that are coming in this month. We'll also be talking about the things you might have missed in this past quarter. First, let's start with the Washington, D.C. trip from the sophomores. This November, our sophomores went on an amazing trip to Washington, D.C. to grow an understanding on the rich history of the United States and the city's ties to the U.S. government. Let's take a look at some comments from those who went. Hey, we're here for SES News uh, asking Mr. Benning some questions about the D.C. trip. So first of all, what did you like about it? Uh, I think my favorite part was actually going to the White House and uh, getting able to see where my good friend Barry lives. <laughs> All right, uh, our second question is, why would you say the DC trip happened? Um, it went specifically for US, obviously for US history, uh, obviously all 10th graders take US history. So we had the chance to be able to see a little bit more uh, in depth what we're gonna be learning about first of all in first semester, second semester, and throughout the rest of the year. All right, and the last question is, describe the trip in one word. Adventurous. Exciting. Fun. Instructive. Interesting. Unforgettable. Informative. Heavy. We sure did have a lot of fun. We're very thankful over our staff members and parents who have chosen this trip for us. Sounds about right. Remember TNL this December 1st and also Elementary Fine Arts Night December 13th and also ECE Christmas Program the 15th. Now let's head over to Pedro Guzman for more updates over the sports. Hi, this is Pedro Guzman. Here is SES Sports. Today we will be talking about how our records are doing. Our JV basketball team is doing pretty well. They've, they've beaten lots of teams. They won Oasis. They, they've won uh, St. David. The varsity team have been playing very good this year for basketball. And we've been, we have a 4-2 record. And Monday of next week we'll be playing versus Da Vinci and Wednesday we'll be playing versus Iberia. Then after that we can see that our soccer teams are doing pretty well. Girls soccer has been doing good and going to our volleyball team. Volleyball team is playing the Claro tournament and the, they are in the semi-finals which will, if they win, they'll be representing the north region of the country in the finals. Thank you for watching this is SES News. <laughs> we recently had the senior lunch. The seniors had prepared a dance routine and several more activities for us. Last Saturday, November 19, was the seniors' lanzamiento. It was a really fun dance in which the seniors announced their class name. What is the lanzamiento? It's like a, we prepare a dance and then we make polos with the name of the class and then we show it to everyone and that's like a very super exciting thing. It's an exciting Something. moment for us because we chose a name that we feel our class is identified with and we're going to present it to everyone and we're going to be identified as that name throughout the entire school week. is like a presentation done by the senior class where we reveal the senior class name. We're hoping that we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be an exciting time for our class and we're really looking forward to for Saturday. Any personal thoughts since you're a senior? Yeah, it was pretty cool just having a overall good time with my class and all, all, all the things we did at night and in the morning. The San Coach in the morning was good in Jose's house and overall the party was great. Now let's head over to Trinity for more information over our school's program, Hope for Haiti. On October 4th, Hurricane Matthew passed through Haiti and had devastating effects. Thousands of homes were affected and the death toll rocketed over 800 in the wake of Matthew. As you can see, many survivors were left with little to no shelter. In hope of helping the less fortunate in Haiti, our students and faculty have started a fundraiser called Hope for Haiti. We interviewed Mr. Omar to get more details. 
Can you tell us what is going on in Haiti right now? What's the situation? Yeah, the, uh, the situation in Haiti right now is uh, pretty, pretty bad. Uh, even after the hurricane, we have received so much rain uh, that has affected the area. There's uh, cholera, there's some diseases that are also uh, kind of slowing things down. So uh, it's just not a good situation right now. Really. We're trying to help the community in Haiti. Uh, we uh, have uh, bags of uh, food that we uh, bring rice and beans and other things like that. Kind of helping and assisting in any way we can. More than that, we just want to show Jesus. We want to proclaim the gospel. Uh, the Bible says that shine your light so that others can see your good works and let me glorify you. And that's what we want to do. We want to glorify you. The goal is 400 bags uh, combined of food and supplies. Uh, final day will be December 2nd. The last day of Donia is Friday, December 2nd. That concludes today's SES News. Remember to study hard for the finals and have a great Christmas break. Thanks for watching.